Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbauer from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, I'm gonna teach you a rhythm, uh, a technique to improve your intonation and rhythm to sound natural and fluent when speaking English. The technique is called backwards chaining and I love using it because it happens, it helps you feel very naturally what you should be doing in terms of intonation and rhythm and fluency in a sentence. So let's start with a sentence. I'll work on it next week. In my other intonation videos, I teach you about stressing content words. We stress the last content word in a phrase and we go more quickly on the other words. So the stressed word is stretched, the other words are faster. You can check out our intonation playlist and our other videos for that. I'll put a link in the corner to help you go there. But when we're talking, it's very difficult for us and not really natural for us to be thinking about where's my noun, where's my content word. We need to have these rhythms um, and patterns to feel, we need them to feel intuitive so we can be fluent while we're speaking. The technique I'm gonna show you is gonna help you to build that fluency and feel it very naturally so that I can very naturally stress and be long on week and be fast on, I'll work on it next week. I'll work on it next week so that this part is flowing together and connected and this part is more stretched out. Um, in order to do that, what I'm gonna suggest is we build from the back. It's called backwards chaining. It works really well, so try it with me. We're gonna say week, next week, it next week, on it next week. Notice how on it became on it because it's linked together, it's going quickly. On it next week. Work on it next week. I'll work on it next week. By the time I've said those words that many times, linked these together, said them more quickly, weak feels very natural to stress and the other ones naturally flow and build together with the reductions and the linking. Then I can just say the whole sentence, I'll work on it next week. I'll work on it next week. Let's try it with a question. Um, so, and in the question here, when can you work on it? Um, the stress word is actually work, meaning the on it and when can you are gonna be the parts that are faster, more reduced and more linked together. I'm telling you that now, but if you did the backwards tra chaining technique, you don't necessarily need to know which word is stressed. You, you'll figure it out as you go. So listen to how that sounds. It, on it, work on it, you work on it, can you work on it, when can you work on it? So here how, as I was building, if I stretched on it, on it, work on it, I naturally was able to feel the importance of the content words and it changed my patterning as I went. So I end up linking and going quickly on on it and when can you. As you know from my other videos, can, when it's a helping verb, uh, can work, becomes can, can work. When can, when can you, when, when can you work on it? When can you work on it? So work on links as well, but work is long and the rest are fast. When can you work on it? Let's try it with one more phrase, just so that I won't tell you what's stressed and you can see as you build the phrase with me, how naturally it will help you to be able to feel where the stress pattern should happen, where you should go quickly and where you should go more slowly. Um, let's see, let's talk about um, another question. Um, we'll do, what are you? up to this weekend. Okay, so without having to think about where we're stressing, where it's gonna be long or short, let's just do our backwards chaining starting at the end. Weekend, this weekend, to this weekend, up to this weekend, you up to this weekend, are you up to this weekend? What are you up to this weekend? So you could hear, what are you up to this weekend? That's where my stress lay. And as I built that phrase, I felt more and more confident about 
where to link and where to reduce and where to go longer and, and hold the flow. What are you up to? We're linking what and are. Sounds like what are, what are you up to? I can either use you or ya here. What are ya? What are you up to? I think in this case, I probably would use you. What are you up to this weekend? What are you up to this weekend? Um, yeah, okay, so you can use this for anything that you're reading. I think it's just also a good way to build confidence in things that you say naturally. You can try it on um, these sentences and other sentences, backwards chaining, building from the last word and adding one word at a time, seeing how the rhythms flow naturally, where you stretch and where you reduce. I'll be creating some additional videos showing you um, some practice materials for this technique. My next podcast will be covering this for um, phrasal verbs and regular verbs, giving you an opportunity to do lots of backwards chaining practice for rhythm, connected speech, fluency, linking, and intonation. Thanks so much for being a part of class today, and I look forward to seeing you in our next class. We'll have our live class on Saturday where we can talk about this topic or any other topic that you like. Bring your questions, put them in the chat, and I'll answer them for you live. If you want more help with intonation, check out our intonation playlist and more help for fluency. We have a, a full playlist for fluency as well, showing you about linking and reduced sounds, giving you some other techniques to try out. And in our online courses, we have our basic courses for accent, for pronunciation, for sounds of English. Um, you may want to also look at our Real Talk course. That's where we really break down intonation, rhythm, linking, and reductions. And I teach you to use TV and movies to help increase and improve your fluency naturally and easily in English. That's our Real Talk course, and you can find it on our website, speechmodification.com. Thanks, everyone, and I look forward to seeing you in our next class. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye, everyone. Hope to see you again soon.